What's up, YouTubers? Here with a Volkswagen Jetta. This is a 2022. This will work for a lot of Jettas with the same instrument cluster. The issue is, once I started the car, it's been running for a little bit. I got this triangle display right here. And so I'm going to go into my functions on, on the MMI display to see what's wrong. Come over to this display right over here. And I'm going to click menu. Then I'm going to click on vehicle. And then I'm going to go to status. Okay. And so that tells me what that warning sign is for. And so it's telling me to please check coolant level, see owner's manual. Let's check out the coolant and let's see how we can get rid of this. First thing you wanna do is turn off your car. Make sure. Next thing you're gonna do is come over to the bottom side right over here, you're gonna pop this handle. This will pop open your hood. Obviously refer to your owner's manual before doing anything if you're not comfortable with what's happening here. Next thing you wanna do is open your hood. Just gonna press the little lever, the lever right over there, and you're gonna rest your hood properly and take this and rest it right over here so first thing you want to do is kind of let your engine cool down next thing you want to do is come over here this is where the coolant goes right over here and this warning is to let you know that there is pressure here in the system if your system is warm now luckily i do have a little bit of coolant still in the system as you can tell right over here because if I didn't, it would be a little bit tricky. If you add coolant and don't know how to air your system, you may have a little bit of an issue. So what I wanna do is make sure the engine's cooled off and then I'm gonna slowly open up this cap. Now, the slower you go, you probably wanna take a rag to it. The slower you go, the less likely it is to let off gas. But if it is hot, if the car is hot and it's been on for a long time, this is under a lot of pressure. So I'm gently, slowly opening this up. It's not that hot. It's been on for about like four or five minutes. As you can tell, I can easily open it up and that is what it looks like inside. Now, number one thing is with coolant, you wanna make sure that you actually get the proper coolant. Sometimes the coolant is, is labeled right over here. You'll have G13 or G12. Make sure to use a 50-50 with distilled water. Those go by the color. And I'm also gonna, when I'm purchasing it, make sure that it fits my car. So right here, I have a pinkish purple, which is what goes into these newer Volkswagens. Let me show you what you need. You also need to make sure you get yourself some distilled water and the proper fluid. So what I'm gonna be using is this Pentafrost E. Once again, this does match my vehicle. As you can see on the back right here, you wanna make sure this coolant, this is for my car specifically. It's a G13 recommendation, which is what I need for this engine. Make sure to get the proper coolant for your engine. It's a G13 specification, which is for my engine. That purple matches that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a 50-50 mix out of this, because this is a concentrate. So now what I'm gonna do, make a quick mix out of this. So, Make sure to wear gloves. I am not. Once again, make sure to have distilled water. I have distilled water in this. I filled up this bottle halfway with distilled water. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this coolant in here. We make a 50-50 mix. Then I'm gonna give it a little bit of a shake up. All right. Now with this 50-50 mix, I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into the proper location. Right over here. Making sure not to give it too much. Don't wanna go over the line right there. I'm gonna show you in a second, but you wanna at least be on the minimum edge of it. The minimum is right there. The maximum is right there. So you don't wanna go over the maximum. Once you've added the fluid with the car off, you're gonna go ahead and put the cap all the way back on, making sure it's all the way to the very bottom, nice and tight. And now you'll see that the warning will also be off. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and start the car. And now as you can see the status, the indicator is no longer on. Once it warms up, you may have to add a little bit more. Come back and check after your first good drive or actually fully warms up. I'll also add a link down below to the coolant I use. I am an Amazon affiliate, so it does help me out for every time you buy something. At no cost to you, I get a small commission. Go ahead and close your hood. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. See you on the next one.